Hi, welcome to today's aftermarket analysis journal. Sorry if I sound a little bit distorted. I have my whitening um, stuff in, so trying to talk with those. And then this is kind of late because I was just busy all afternoon today. So now I'm finally getting the time to look back at today and get into it. So basically off the start, want to be brutally honest. I mean, I no, I didn't blow the account. But we are pretty low today um again as of yesterday or actually well it just got uploaded today but in the last video i had posted i said that i wanted to start upping my size and put on a little bit more risk because i had a little streak of losing trades but like i have those trades cover it and it's just a complicated thing i'm still very figuring out risk management uh another thing is that i did buy a 150k account and again who knows I just I've never really tried 150k account or anything higher than a 50k and I just feel for the style and the way I trade that it will allow me to manage risk better as I have to put on more risk and if I'm risking 0.001% of a 50k account or between that and 0.005 that's 50 to $250 which that's not a lot to uh, not a lot of legroom to manage with when trading futures especially you know the micros or not sorry the minis and just with micros i i hate them i can't take off you know positions when i want to partial and stuff like that in a proper way so enough rambling let's get into it again the day we saw we had a i believe this is a 15 minute fair value gap we left behind yep 15 minute fair value gap from yesterday's am session uh so we were coming into that as soon as we tapped into this we left a smt um, I worked last night, so by the time I got on the charts, it was like literally 8.30. I tried to get up at 8, but it was around like 10 minutes before I got up. So we had this SMT here, and as soon as I got on, I saw this dump, so I couldn't really catch any sort of move targeting these equal lows into what was this 15 minute for value gap. But we ended up coming down here, and then we came into equilibrium of the range which then by this time, this was an inverse fair value gap. So we were holding this and then we created this SMT right here. And once we created this SMT, I waited for this one minute and that's what I was saying. I got in here, two cons and I wanted to, yeah, I mean, I still wanted to target down here. It's just the fact of, I'm trying to see where I got in. Wait. Is this the one I entered off of the first time? I, I can't have executions on, so... No, yeah, it was th this one, actually. Sorry. It was this one. And... I had stops... Where was it originally? Uh, I think I said I was going to have it pulled out. But yeah, it was something like... By the time I entered, it was here. Oh, wrong thing. By the time I entered, it was here. It's still the wrong one. I think I switched to the wrong one. Yeah, I did. So by the time I entered around here, I think, yeah, I literally had stops, like, and see, this is what I'm saying, like, two cons is comfortable for me to trade. I feel like that is the best way for me to really maximize my profits and let winners run, because having one micro taken off already secures a decent amount of profit, which is where, like, that kind of can balance out my losses, and then having that second contract to just run and, like, I'm fine already with the profits on the day because it's already cut on my losses and just having like say you know we took a one to one and then it didn't come down to here but I let my I'd be totally fine letting my winner run down to here that would be that could wipe out multiple days worth of losses so anyways though yeah I think literally I got stopped out to the tick I or it maybe it was a little lower maybe it was we had the fair value up here uh yeah so maybe it was like right above the fair value gap honestly anyways i ended up getting stopped but then we had this again that's when we created the smt actually and then yeah that's when i had entered off the inverse of this and we ended up taking down somewhere off here i think it was in the tap of this uh targeting this sell side didn't really care about this at all um and then i had realized we also had or no that was it from earlier sorry this is what i was talking about but yeah, didn't really care about this at all. Really wanted the external low, um, but we didn't get it as once we tapped in here, we created this SMT, ended up coming higher. So yeah, by this point, since, you know, I wanted to let really my winners run, um, after 
this had got stopped out of break even after I already partialed and all that. I was still down like 200 on the day. And I then looked at this setup. And by the way, the longer time frame was, um, was bullish. And I did know that in a couple of videos, I said, you know, I wouldn't really go against the bias. It's just, this is a very good setup. I would say the way that we, you know, we're respecting these higher time frame PDRAs. We're showing SMT divergences. You know, we're showing that we actually want to move lower to balance into like OTE of the range or just have a retracement to go higher. So yes, yeah, so this actually gave me the confidence. Um, and then, uh, but it was right here um which it's fairly kind of annoying that because this would have really ran but i said okay you know we were we kind of came into ot of the range you know we came up we had another like little move down which i believe this was also 50 percent of this range yeah we tapped into 50 percent of this range came up and we ended up inversing this one minute right here um and yeah, I had entered. Dude, now I'm getting confused with my entries again. I believe I had entered here. Am I on the one minute? Mm -mm -mm. No, it actually, sorry. It was here. Yeah, okay. It was here. And we had inverse. Ended up being stopped out. I had to have risk super tight because, you know, I'm already down. And yeah, I mean, I was targeting. I think it was either these highs or these highs. Probably this one, though. Um. And then stops were probably like, yeah, I think it was like right here. And then, or maybe even lower, because I know I tried to enter again off something else. I tried to enter again twice, and it's just I didn't have enough wiggle room as I was already so far down on the day. And on a 50K account, the max loss is 1,000. So, yes, I did hit the daily max loss. Um, and then after that, I and I do have two other accounts now. I have another 50K account and 150k account those are both through top sub egg and i said after that i am just not trading on the day um i already taken three trades and was not happy that i had hit max loss as i have not done that in a while so i knew it was time to just get off the charts so yeah i am one for three today haven't said that in a while either um i haven't taken that many like trades and had the losses in the day like that but yeah one for three on the day um Overall, it's this is really annoying, and that's just going back to the fact again, like of being able to manage risk and stuff like that on these fifty k accounts. Like, you know, some people have it within their strategies. You know, someone who scalps. You know, someone who's taking like eight points and like who are micro scalping and stuff like that. But obviously, these or the ICT and the whole concepts and the model and stuff like that you're not just scalping and stuff you you know you're really taking advantage of those large moves which means you also have to kind of have those way wider risks like for this for example you know what makes sense for this entry is to have it above the same high that's almost 20 points you're looking at 20 points on 20 contract or i mean sorry 20 points on um minis is for one contract you're this is looking around like a 400 dollar uh stop loss two contracts now you're at 800 so it's just like you have to have that like wiggle room now even on a 150k account i would say if i took this loss here i would be done for the day because that's already over the 0 0.005 but i'd be happy with this knowing that i had enough room and that this winner right here especially if my runner would have came all the way down to that would have been way over that so um yeah that's really all i had to say but yeah uh so again one and three on the day not the uh eh, i don't know but yeah i kind of ramble just again this is what this is to let my thoughts fly around and just journal and go what i was thinking through but Again, if you guys, hopefully you guys can find some use out of it. Um, but yeah, and then coming into the day, sorry, I kind of forgot to mention this lunch hour, you know, a little bit of moves, not really anything, um, which again, I don't trade lunch hour or anything like that, but we kind of did have, I guess, some moves. I don't know. I didn't look at the charts after this day. Again, I, like I said, I had just gotten done, but yeah, anyways, 
all the, really the focus was the AM session. So, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy my rambling and um, my big losses on the day. And that's it. Uh, yeah, so going tomorrow. Again, the account's not blown. Um, it is like $500 away from total drawdown or like 400 So we still have it, but I will mainly just be trading the 150k and the 50k on top of x going forward so yep i will see you guys in tomorrow's video hopefully